This video will teach you how to assemble the setup for simple and fractional distillation apparatuses. Our experimenters, Bibia and Spencer, will be demonstrating the setup. For theory, please read the Morig text. It is crucial to grease the joints. Using a minimum amount of grease, add to each mill joint, insert into accepting port, and rotate gently. This will allow for optimal lubrication with minimal contamination. Greasing is required to prevent the joints from sticking together and potentially breaking. Once all the joints are greased, start assembling the apparatus. You can adjust the height of the clamps for each glass piece as needed. Greasing prevents the joints from sticking together and breaking. Put the boiling chips into the round bottom flask and then fill it with the mixture. As a general rule, it should be filled to no more than two-thirds of the flask. Place the thermometer so its tip is just slightly below the sidearm. Attach the water hoses as shown. Make sure the out hose is long enough to fit into the drain. You may move the apparatus around as needed to ensure this. Use your 25 milliliter graduated cylinder as the receiver. Fill the fractional or distilling column with glass beads. This allows for multiple processes of evaporation and condensation. To prevent glass beads from falling from the fractional column, place a small piece of steel wool inside, push it towards the bottom of the column, and pack it in with glass beads up to two-thirds of its height. The distilling column must be placed between the boiling flask and the three-way distilling head. Since the setup is now higher than the setup for the simple distillation, you may move your setup closer to the drainage to make sure that the hose fits into it. You may also use a clamp to press the hose down to prevent water spillage. Again, note the position of the thermometer in the setup. You will have to use wooden blocks to set up the receiver at the needed height. 